this demo will be very similar to the GitHub integration, except that I'm going to do the same thing for Bitbucket. If you're a Bitbucket user instead of a GitHub user, you can use this integration. Again, the dashboard, manage Jenkins, manage plugins. I'm looking for the Bitbucket branch source plugin. Discover and build Bitbucket Cloud and Bitbucket Server pull requests and branches and send status notification with the build results. This works with Bitbucket Cloud and also Bitbucket Server if you have one running on premise. So I'll install this one. And I'm going to use the same project as in the previous demo. So if you want an explanation of the code itself, the Java code, Take the previous lecture first if you skipped it and then come back to this one. So Bitbucket plugin installed now, new item. I want a Bitbucket team or project. My team, I'm going to call it, press OK. Owner, that's me. Scan credentials. So we need credentials to scan for builds. I'm going to add a username and password. And to do that, I need to go to the bitbucket.org settings. So I went here to my avatar and then I clicked on settings. And then I get on this page. You can create an app password. Jenkins. And you can choose. I think you only need read access for here, but I'm just going to add all the reads from this list so that if we later on need more, then we can do that. Then we're going to click create. This gives us a password. And that password we input here. Bitbucket API. So I added my credential. And what I actually want is the Bitbucket team project. I'm not going to put myself because I already am passing my credentials with my username and password, but I want to scan my team. My team is called Infrared Dev. And if you take a look in Bitbucket, if you're familiar with Bitbucket, you, you know this, but you can create a new team. You can create a new team. And I created this team here, Infrared Dev. And you actually have to go to the settings to know that you have to put the team ID. So this is the team ID I want to put. My user is one of the users of this team and can therefore access the repositories that are in this team, Infrared Dev. So I'm going to click on this one. This is my repository. So this is the Infrared Dev team. Jenkins course project and the repository. So this is within the team. And that's why as owner, I'm going to put the team ID as credential. I'm going to put my login and the password, the app password that is linked to my user, not to the team. So it's a bit confusing, but if you are familiar with Bitbucket, then it will make all sense. You actually have to get a little bit more familiar with Bitbucket than Jenkins to know all these settings. So this should also work based on projects, but I'm doing this on team. And then I'm going to save this. Just as a side note, you can also auto register the webhooks. So the push request I talked about earlier, you can auto register them if you want. That's if a commit happens, then Bitbucket will push the notifications to Jenkins. If you do this, just make sure that in settings, your Jenkins URL is set properly. So you have configure system, and then you have the Jenkins URL. So this Jenkins URL needs to be set correctly, otherwise this will not work. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and then it will start scanning my team. And it found a Jenkins file in this GS Gradle, and it will immediately start building. Look at this. So. This is the build of the InfraDev team InfraDev slash GS Gradle. 
and the master branch and the first build. So if you go back to the main page, you will now see that we have a Bitbucket repository in dev. This will scan for all the repositories. So this is the team in dev, and here in this Jenkins project, it will scan for every repository that I am creating in my dev team. So I only have one repo. That's the one repo that it found. It will look for the Jenkins file and then it will start creating branches for it. We have one master branch and that branch was built successfully. So this is a very handy way to manage your projects. I really recommend this. So that's it for this demo. I explained to you now how to do the integrations with GitHub in the previous demo and Bitbucket now in this demo. If you have any issues, because sometimes you can have access issues and so on, put something on the Q&A and I will try to help you. For me, it also didn't work for the first time because I accidentally put the name instead of the team ID. So make sure that you don't put a team name, but the team ID. And then it should work. Also make sure that you put the correct credentials here. So it's the login and password that you create in the settings of your own profile. That's it. This should really get you going.